Hey guys, it's Steve. So welcome back to another Barbecue Bros video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 65 quart Pelican cooler. This is a direct competitor to the Yeti cooler. So if you like to hunt fish uh, or just drink beer and hang out with friends, um, this is going to be a great product for uh, keeping those drinks or your meat cold. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to do an overview and then do an ice test. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is my new uh, 65 quart Pelican cooler. They come in white and tan. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly walk you through the various features and then we're gonna do an ice test. All right, so these are the press and pull latches. They made them nice and wide. So if you've got uh, gloves on when you're offshore fishing or hunting or whatever it may be, uh, you just press and pull just that easy. And then you just push it back down and it just snaps in. That's all you gotta do. I mean, that's basically no effort at all. And it just snaps right back down. We have stainless steel hardware. And I uh, really like the design with uh, how they made this just easy to, to quickly pop open like that. Okay, so this is the molded in hasp that has a uh, stainless steel plate on top. So you can put a deadbolt through here. And uh, that stainless steel plate up top is just gonna um, keep people from trying to, to rip that thing off of the mold. So nice design right there. All right, and then we've got molded in tie downs on each corner. So that makes that nice and convenient to tie this down while you're traveling. Okay, another really nice feature of this cooler is they have a dual handle system. So you have the molded in handles right here, but then you also have these swing handles that have a nice little kind of rubber grip right here. And so depending on what you're, you know, where you're trying to move this cooler, whether it's one person or um, two people, uh, you have different options here. So really nice setup on the handles. Okay, so for our drain system here, uh, this is a threaded plug system that will allow you to attach a garden hose to. Okay, and again, we've got this stainless steel hardware here. All right, and flipped up on its side, you can see the large rubber feet on the bottom here. So these are gonna elevate the cooler to allow airflow underneath it. And I'm just gonna keep this guy from sliding around. So really thick rubber feet here, really nice. Okay, and then also with the drain system, it's probably a little hard to tell on, on camera here, but the floor is actually slightly angled down. So this thing sitting flat, is just naturally gonna drain water out the hole here. All right, then on top you also have two rollers. You've got one in inches and one in centimeters. Okay, so now for the the main reason that uh, people invest in coolers like this. So you have a, a two inch thick continuous layer of polyurethane insulation that goes all the way around these massively thick walls. And um, that's what's gonna keep your ice uh, from melting. Uh, it's just going to sit here for days and, and stay intact. So uh, uh, you also have the uh, rubber gasket right here, freezer grade uh, rubber gasket that goes all the way around the inside of the lid, uh, sealing it uh, when it shuts. So let's go ahead and uh, get to our ice test. All right guys, so I've got 24 beers in here just to show you how much room the 65 quart has. Um, obviously you can fit a ton more because I've got these spaced out. I've even got three extra spots on the other side. So you know you could easily cram all these together. Uh, those are actually just sitting in the little uh, uh, circular indentions on the bottom. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing up with some ice. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna be keeping this back here on my back porch this whole week. Uh, it's supposed to be in the kind of mid 80s most of this week. What I'll end up doing is at the end of the review, I'll post uh, what the temperature was each day. And uh, we'll check back on this uh, two or three times throughout this week and just keep checking back and, and see how long this thing will hold ice. So we'll see you soon. All right, guys, here we go. It has been three days uh, since I put these beers in here and filled it up with ice. And one thing that I uh, meant to mention was uh, on the first clip, after that first bag of ice I put in there, I put a second bag so it would be nice and full 
with ice all the way up to the top. I figured that was the best way to test this. So you guys are going to be seeing uh, me open this for the first time. I uh, wanted to note that it's been uh, in the 90s here each day. So uh, it's been incredibly hot. And again, this thing is sitting out here on my uh, back porch. It's a screened in porch, but um, so it's not in direct sunlight, but it's definitely been quite warm. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. And there we go. Not bad. So uh, the ice was about up to here. And so the ice has gone down some, but you still have a full thick layer of ice on top. I'm sure we've got some nice ice cold water on the bottom, but you can see how well that thing is holding ice. So let me go ahead and get this shut. Um, so here's the deal with this. I am getting ready to uh, go out of town for a couple days and I'm just going to leave this thing here. Just let it keep sitting. And uh, so in two more days, which will make five days, we'll check back and uh, see how it's doing. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, here we go. This is day five. So we just got back in town. It's been two full more days. So you're going to be seeing this the, for the first time that I am. All right, and we still have ice in there. So we've got some fairly big chunks right here. Another little chunk here. This water in the bottom is ice cold. So kind of spread that around some. So uh, I'm thinking that um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, my guess is going to be that probably uh, within one more day, uh, the rest of that ice will be melted. Uh, it has been in the uh, 90s uh, this entire five days. So uh, my guess is that, uh, you know, if you're uh, in an area where you have much cooler or cold temperatures, you know, you're out of direct sunlight, this thing is going to have the capability of holding ice upwards to to seven days or longer. Um, they claim that it, it can uh, hold ice up to 10 days, but that's going to be obviously in, in colder and colder weather. So I am highly impressed. Uh, five days later in 90 degree weather, this thing still has ice in it, um, ice cold water in the bottom. So I'm really stoked with this product. Again, if you uh, fish or hunt, uh, like to drink beer, barbecue, all those kinds of things, um, this is going to be an excellent cooler. Uh, to pick up. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer those. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.